What's up guys, my name is Drew and I watch movies entirely too much. And here we are with the last trailer of the day, the last of these Disney trailers that have come out this weekend. We got the Mufasa trailer. This is the one that I was looking forward to the absolute least. And I'm just being honest with you guys, I was not crazy about the Lion King remake at all. I did not like that movie in any way, shape, or form. I didn't like the little teaser trailer they released for this movie a couple months back. But I'm gonna give it a fair chance. I always try to go into these trailers and just be as fair as I possibly can. And you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people are probably more excited for this than I am. And I'm happy for you if you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm very happy for you if you are. And I guess we can just leave it at that. But before we get into the trailer, I got a couple shameless plugs. I recently did a top 80 favorite movies of all time, so you can get that link in the description. Also, I'm on Twitch. If you guys want to see me playing games on there, go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well. Also, I'm on Letterboxd. If you want to see me do like mini reviews on there, leave that in the comment section as well. All right. Let's do this thing, I guess. Come on. Oh, man. It's time. <laughs> the story of the cub. What <sighs> bigger than you? So just to be clear, we're not in this story. There's a lot of stories with all of us. Tell one of those. Long before they became legends, Mufasa and the prince who would come to be known as Scar became brothers. Hello. What's your name? Mufasa. I told you to wait for me. We can't just leave him here. Rules are rules, Tucker. He's so King British. Never accept a stray. I'm not a stray. I'm just lost. Not Scar's family took in Mufasa. That's great. Do not associate with outsiders. Tucker is the future king. We must protect the bloodline. But Dad, I saved his life. <laughs> Secret Mufasa. I always wanted a brother. I always wanted a brother. I always wanted a brother. Oh man. <laughs> oh Sometimes God. I get a scent. It's barely a trace on the wind. And it smells like home. Then it's gone. You and Tucker together. That is home. Now both of you go. Find your place. In the circle of life. <laughs> the circle is broken. There will be one Lion King. Please. Mufasa, run! We must fight together. If we fight, we die. Just to be clear, I never signed up for this. I'm here to protect you, my brother. Mufasa! This was a bad idea! We're alive! Uh, I did it! Uh, I saved us! You were saying? Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice. It's better than the teaser trailer, I will say that. It's a lot better than the teaser trailer. And I kind of figured that. The teaser, I did not like at all, but I will say there were things about the teaser that I was like, maybe in a full trailer they can kind of expand on this. I kind of like what they might be going for visually, and that's probably the most props I can give for this one. I actually do like the look of this. It seems like they took a lot of the criticisms from that first movie and really applied it to this. I can tell that they really worked on the color grading and making sure that everything doesn't look so dull and ugly all the time. They really worked on making sure that they show that Africa is a beautiful place. It doesn't have to look so brown and nasty and dirty all the time. Like I like that they're actually showing that Africa is gorgeous. I like the better expressions on the faces of the animals. They're actually going that extra mile to make sure they actually are expressing emotion 
interesting because that was one thing I really didn't like about the first one. I didn't like that all the animals were just dead faced. I get it. You wanted it to be this live action thing. So you wanted it to, you know, resemble actual real animals, but it's just that it's very hard to connect with characters that don't, you know, have any facial emotions to express. I think this could be good, okay? Watching Mufasa and Scar hang out as kids and then watching them go through this journey, I think that could be really fun. I like the idea that Scar's family actually took in Mufasa. I think that's a very interesting way to go. I guess my question is, why couldn't we start here? You know, I, I, I get it. That other movie made a whole bunch of money and it just makes a lot of business sense to do it. But I don't know, when it comes to these live action remakes, I've always felt like, wouldn't it be more cool if we just use them as opportunities to tell different stories? You know what I'm saying? To really dive into other parts of these worlds. We don't have to just focus on the same characters all the time. And this is kind of still doing that, but at the same time, I feel like it's meeting us in the middle. It's giving us those same old characters, a little bit of that same old music, that same old vibe. But at the same time, it seems like they're willing to try a lot of new things as well, because this is a little bit of uncharted territory. So, I don't think it looks like a bad trailer. I don't think it's a bad trailer. I don't think the movie looks bad. It definitely looks a lot better than that fucking first teaser that I didn't like that shit at all. This is this is a huge step up. We'll see. I'm, I'm sure you guys are way more excited for this than me. But yeah, that's it for these D23 trailers. Uh, I really loved the Moana 2 one. I liked the Agatha all along one. I was not crazy about the Snow White one. And the Mufasa one actually surprise me. So yeah, I guess we'll find out when these movies come out. So hit me in the comment section, like, subscribe. All my shameless plugs are in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Take it easy.